Now to the boys, UEC meet 200 meter dash, Danny Tucker of Wabonzi Valley in the outside lane. He was injured earlier in the year. Jacob Bender of Nequa Valley in lane two. At the finish, it's Tucker winning with a time of 22.9. Bender takes third with a 23.59. Lane seven helped me out because it wasn't hard on my foot at all because it was not, not much of a curve. It was like a straightaway almost, and I just took advantage of it and came on top. Four by 400 meter relay, last exchange. St. Charles East and Wabonzi Valley close to Warriors. Austin Amory to Kyle Schaefer. Schaefer battling with St. Charles East, Dylan Muggy. At the line, it's the Saints winning with a 328.87 to Wabonzi's 330.61. Four by 800 meter relay, last exchange. Things are tight between Nikwa and Wabonzi. The Wildcats, Taylor Soltis to Mark Derrick, Wabonzi's Bornell Nicholson to David Graber. Graber won't catch Derek. Nequa wins with an 814.63. Wabonzi second with an 816.19. That's .19 away from qualifying for prep top times. 400 meter dash, the Wildcats Bender wins with a time of 51.53. The Saints Muggy takes second with a 51.97. 800 meter run, Vincenzo Del Pazzo of the Wildcats leading the whole race here, two laps to go. Teammate Kevin Scripp battling for second the entire race. But with 100 meters to go, Del Pazzo gets passed by St. Charles East, Jake Mazanki. Mazanki wins with 158.57, Del Pazzo second, 159.51. In the shot put, big things happening. Jeremy Klein of Lake Park, two throws earlier, was well over 60 feet, but here he gets 67 feet, six and a half inches. Pretty spin, it's an all-time state record and the farthest ever recorded for high school track and field. His teammate Zach Zimke in the pole vault, the 2010 state champion with 15 feet. He also won the prep top times meet with the same height. Here he gets 15 feet, 10 inches, a UEC record. In the long jump, Zimke here gets 22.8, but later he'd get 23.1, another UEC record. He also won the triple jump. Zimke helps his team to a conference victory. Nikola finishes fourth, Wabonzi fifth. Of course, we're trying to regain our title this year. We want to show the states that we're serious. We've gotten a lot more depth, I would say. I mean, we wouldn't be the greatest athletes without our coaches. With these coaches do an amazing job. They put 24-7 into us when we need to. So they're the ones that make us the great athletes that we are today.